what's been the hardest part? Uh, I mean, obviously you and Derek have been good friends. How hard is it to watch, I guess, when those guys are out there on the floor without you? It's really tough, you know, especially in games where I feel like I can help, um, games that I feel like they need me out there. Uh, the Notre Dame game was really tough to watch, especially in the second half when they, they went on their run. And we couldn't get a bucket. We couldn't get a stop. So, I mean, just games like that, it's just tough to watch. <clears throat> You touch on your relationship with Coach Beeline, and, and he gave you a chance here, obviously. Yeah, I'm very appreciative of that. You know, I like four years ago, right now, I really didn't know him that well. Um, you know, he took a chance on me. Forever, forever grateful of that. So um, he'll definitely always be, you know, one of the best coaches I've had. But the, um, I mean, at this point, it's just still kind of the, the vagueness of what the specifics were, things like that. Do you want to say what the injury? Was. Uh, you know, my agent and myself really um, thought to, you know, not disclose that or disclose that with myself and not really say what it is until the combine. And then I'm sure it'll be out there. Right. Your whole process, I mean, the, after the Purdue game, do you, do you think that that was a mistake to play the Purdue game? Um, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it was a mistake, um, for especially for myself. I really wanted to see if I could give it a go. Um, and I feel like I felt a lot better after the Purdue game seeing that you know I couldn't really give it my all out there and I really tried everything that I could do um, but I definitely don't think it was a mistake do you think that re-injured you according to the x-rays it didn't re-injure me okay um, just brought some more pain made it harder to push through it thank you but just in terms of the the surgery and the process when did you know that it was going to require surgery because for a while it at least what you guys were saying is that it was going to kind of recover on its own without the surgery. Yeah, so it was crazy. Um, actually, the Notre Dame game, I think that was a Friday maybe? Yeah, Friday night. Friday. So I got a second opinion on Sunday out in New York, got the surgery like Monday. So it was quick. It was so was, was that just we happened to be in New York and there's the doctor here that – Yeah, we had, a, we had scheduled a second opinion out in New York, but it just so happened that we played in Brooklyn. Um, so I ended, ended up seeing him, and he thought it was best I got the surgery. Like I said, I got it like the next day. So I guess, was, was there anyone that you were consulting in between in terms of? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I talked to my agent uh, as well as the coaches okay. here, um, as well as the, the doctor that did my surgery is the, uh, the Brooklyn Nets team doctor. So he really talked to me about the NBA side of things and um, cleared up a few things for me. And then I guess the surgery till now, until the combine, what does the recovery process look like and, and prepping for, you know, kind of getting ready for the rest of it? So we're hoping for a full recovery by like the middle of the summer. Um, but as far as any workouts and anything at the combine like that, we're not really sure of anything. We're just taking it, you know, day by day within the next couple of weeks. Is, is there anything that I guess you wish in hindsight that would have been done differently, whether it was you know, <clears throat> even the Camp Sanderson's or maybe not going as hard in a certain game or not playing in a certain game that you think could have prevented it? No, definitely. I mean, I don't regret anything about, especially not staying in the summer. You know, those times were great, uh, especially for me bonding with the team, just getting better individually. Uh, I don't regret anything about that or playing in any games. No. It's just one of those things that just happened. It's, you know, it's unlucky, but you just got to move past it. When, when you look back, I guess, on your whole four years and you're coming in with that group of five and leaving just with you and Spike, is there anything that stands out either on the court or off the court that you kind of think will mark your legacy or what do you think your legacy is? You know, hopefully, you know, people look at me as the, the guy who really gave it. They're all on the court out there. Um, someone who didn't really take plays off, who really brought it there all every game. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Yeah. Hey.